And welcome back. Tom Hartman here with you. Is John Stewart single-handedly bringing down Fox News? This is this is pretty amazing. The Daily Show is averaging 2.3 million viewers. They're beating every single show on Fox except O'Reilly. And is the, is the Fox News bubble bursting? Steve Malsberg is the host of the Steve Malsberg Show, conservative radio host on WOR in New York City. WOR710.com is the website. Steve, welcome. Hey, welcome. Does that make you liberal talk show host? Yeah. Okay, just, sure. Just checking. Yeah, I'll go along with that. Yeah, okay. Uh, in a heartbeat. Uh, so is, is the Fox News bubble for ang- angry white guys b- bursting? Well, you know, I mean, that's as close to a racist statement as you could make without uh, being a blatant racist. I mean, for angry white guys, I know plenty yeah. of uh, African Americans who watch it. So, what does that make them? Um, is the bubble bursting? I don't know that there was a bubble. Uh, their main competition, I don't believe, is John Stewart. Uh, their main competition are the other cable news networks, which are MSNBC and CNN. And uh, the last time I looked, every one of the top ten news uh, <laughs> uh, news shows uh, during the course of prime time come from Fox, uh, not from CNN and MSNBC. You can't find them in the list. So, but they're coming. Talk- but it's now coming from Comedy Central. Doesn't doesn't this Steve say something about you know America as a whole? It, it, actually, doesn't this say something about? Maybe we should go back to programming in the public interest. Remember when the news divisions were not run by the entertainment divisions? Oh, yeah. Well, I have no, I mean, I don't, you know, I, I, I don't know. All, all I know is that as, as far as, uh, you know, John Stewart, you, you got to be a certain, uh, you have to have a certain taste for that, uh, which I don't. I've never watched his show once. Um, you know, anybody. Never who once? Changed, and no, no. And I, I have a problem with people who change their names. They're Jewish and they change their names and they don't want to, uh, they don't want to be known. You know, it's a late night show. It's on at 11 p.m. Wait a minute. You're accusing me of being a racist, and you're and you're throwing off anti-Semitic stuff like that. What's, what, what's anti-Semitic about saying Jews uh, who are embarrassed about their names? Yeah. I don't like. How's the, that? How's that anti-Semitic? I'm a Jew and I kept my name. Yeah. <laughs> how's that anti-Semitic? Uh, uh, accusing me of being anti-Semitic is probably the biggest stretch you'll ever have in your entire lifetime. Well, it it, it may well be, Steve. I, I don't present myself as an authority on either anti-Semitism or racism. The, well, the, but the point is, the I mean, thing that I yeah. that I'm that I'm seeing here, though, is that, as you point out, we uh, you know between between Comedy Central and Fox News, neither of which are news operations. You know, Fox News is you know a, basically a propaganda operation, and Comedy Central is a comedy operation. Where where's the news? Well, your Whatever happened to ridiculous. real news? I mean, well, even pre- even pre- with the big three networks, their news divisions are now under the under the ages of the of the vice presidents for entertainment. They they have to answer. You know, you you get, we're getting news shows, uh, you know, news bits on on network news about movies that are coming out that happen to be owned by the same yeah. parent company. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, that, well, let's put that aside since that goes on all over the place. Where do you get that? It shouldn't go on. But, no, that's it didn't used to that's go not, on. That's not, you know, that's not the demise of Fox, which you wanted to talk about, which I don't believe. Now, look, let me just say, I, have, I, have, I, I, I think, uh, and it's a whole other story we'll get into one day if you care to, I think I'm banned from Fox for various reasons. But So I have no axe to grind. They're not my great defender, and I'm not their great defender. Having said that, um, I, I, I just don't see where there where there's a demise. Well, here's the here's and the larger the way, question. Not, then not propaganda. Could it, they are a news organization. <laughs> well, could it could it be you know okay maybe we're splitting hairs there. Could it could it be then that uh, Americans are waking up to the right wing agenda? You know now that now that uh, Paul Ryan has said yeah you know let's let's voucherize Medicare. Rick Santorum today announced his presidential bid by saying I'll go I'll go Paul Ryan one better. I'm going to actually privatize Social Security. And so both Medicare and Social Security getting blown up. And average working people in America who were who used to be watching Fox News going, oh, yeah, look, that's great, uh, are now going, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, you know, tax cuts for Rupert Murdoch are going to help things, tax cuts for billionaires. Uh, we've been, you know, we tried that for, we've been trying that for 30 years. And real wages have not gone up literally since Ronald Reagan came uh, I, I really I really I really think you're overanalyzing this first of all there's been no significant decline in Fox News number one uh, number two uh, most Americans would favor uh, if the media would present if the left-wing so-called mainstream network media would present um, uh, so privatization of Social Security and Medicare in in what it is that nobody 55, what is it nobody well nobody 55 years of age or over would be affected one iota so these 
these commercials and this demagoguery that throwing grandma under the bus and over the cliff and in the wheelchair. Well, it's just throwing crap, future grandmas off crap. the, off the cliff. Number two, um, we need to do something because it's going broke and it won't be there. And this notion uh, that Paul Ryan going wants broke. to dismantle it, didn't Barack Obama take $500 billion out of it? No, and he didn't. And you on the left applauded. No, he didn't. Give me that. First of all, he took $500 billion out of the corporate operation no, 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 called no, no. Medicare he, Advantage. He, no, he took it out of Medicare. No, he didn't. He put it somewhere else. Steve, he the didn't. The whole thing is a joke. He, the, the, the money that, that Obamacare took out of so-called Medicare was taken out of the corporate part that, that Republicans had put in out of Medicare Part C, out of Medicare Advantage. He says, okay, you know, we're not going to have we're not going to pri- have private health corporations involved in this, taking skimming 20, 30, 40 percent off the top. We're just going to have the government administer but it. The bottom line of the premise of the conversation is that Fox News is dying. Fox News, if it's di- if, if, it, if the ratings have gone down, I'll tell you why the ratings go on. If they have, as it, and I don't think that they have significantly at well, all. Beck is down 17 percent. Overall, they, Fox they down. Because they have too many liberal on it. Every time I have a liberal on my show, I get the same kind of email that I get from your fans who, when I come on your show, uh, they write to me. They're not nice. People don't want to hear the opposing point of view very often. Some do, a lot don't. So now Roger Ailes said he might hire Hillary Clinton. He's hired uh, J- R- John Roberts from yeah, right. CNN and CBS. I can but, you know, he got, he got rid of Alan Combs. I mean, you know, Sean Hannity wouldn't... on CNN and the conservatives on MSNBC. They don't exist. So I think he's weakened his product, made it too... Wait a minute, Joe Scarborough and doesn't exist? people are leaving it. Joe Scarborough doesn't exist? Oh, please, Joe Scarborough. And that's one. Joe Scarborough, Pat Buchanan, that's two. I could give you 25 on Fox News. You want the list? Off the uh, top liberals? Of my head. No, now, every I, conservative I'm not disputing the liberals go on Fox News. I'm, I'm on Fox News regularly. But that's not the point. The point is that we're not getting real news in America. No, the point and, is you and, think and, that and, and, you know, haven't basically ever since died. Reagan did away with the, what was called the Fairness Doctrine, and then Clinton signed the Telecommunications Act, and all these news divisions that used to operate at a loss. Because they were the cost of of a broadcast license, basically, which you had to carry real news. When that went away, they you know they started cutting foreign bureaus. We're not getting we're just we're not getting real news anymore. We're getting infotainment, well, and I think it's making America stupider. Well, that, you're talking about a million different issues, and but your your premise that Fox News is dying because they fed out. They hear Rick Santorum, and they say, "Oh, wait, I don't want this." And they I think this America's one, they waking say, oh, up. Well, I don't want that. They, what they're hearing if they watch Fox News is more and more viewpoints from the left. We're hearing from Glenn Beck that the world is going to come to an end and you need to buy food. So what does that mean? You should well, be prepared. I, I yeah, think it the means the Glenn Beck... The government Be- just did a report. Your Obama government just did a report talking about zombies. Zombies. Yeah, yeah the government. The government. It was Glenn a joke. Beck, the government. It was a joke. Cut it out. Steve, it was not a joke. Steve, do you, do you, do you agree with Glenn Beck... <laughs> Uh, do I agree that, that everybody should that the be world is coming to an end? A tornado, that the world, that there could be an electric grid breakdown, and you should have food and water. Are you going to convert to Mormonism? Absolutely. Who wouldn't? Uh, 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 put a year's worth of. of uh, uh, I don't know. Six months, three months, a year. You decide how long you're prepared to let your family uh, go without. Uh, if, they, if they, God forbid, there's a problem. That's what. That's an individual uh, uh, choice. But uh, you should, you should, you know, we should all have Glenn Beck's poor TV ratings at five o'clock in the afternoon with over two million people watching him on a cable station. Um, I, just, I mean, give me a break. Well, Throw this is away this the competition. is yeah, and this is the thing that concerns me is that it is not, it, it, it it's not even close to news, and it's on a network that calls itself news. I I have no problem with Fox if they just take the word news out of their name. Well, I think they're then then, then MSNBC. Sir, MSNBC take it doesn't out first. pretend to be news. They what? Their opinion should. Shows they don't call them news. MSNBC. What does it stand for? Uh, there's the word news is not in there. Steve Malsberg, WOR710.com. This is the Tom Hartman program.